Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing four ingredient meals. These are great because there's only four ingredients. And so they're quick to make, they're cheaper than takeaway. Most things are cheaper than takeaway. But anyway, there is some delicious meals in here. Dave's absolute favorite is the last one. And I really do hope you guys try these out. They're just delicious. All right, let's get into it. The first dish I'm going to be sharing with you today is delicious and it is popular with the whole family. It's pork lettuce cups. So what you're going to need is some cos lettuce hearts. I'm also using a bought salad as well. This is an Asian style salad, so it's got a variety of items in it, as well as crunchy noodles for the top and some brown rice. And then finally, the meat component is this Chinese barbecue pork. It's slow cooked. It is delicious and it just falls away after it's been in the oven. So first I'm just covering it with foil. That's what it says to do for the majority of the time. And then just near the end, you take the foil off. You make up the salad, you put the brown rice in the microwave until it's cooked and hot, and then you assemble it just like this. It is a great quick, fast meal if you need a quick Friday meal instead of getting takeaway. The next four ingredient meal is chicken pizzas. But if you wanted to, we tend to do about six ingredients, chicken, cheese, tomato paste, pizza crusts, barbecue sauce, and pineapple. We love pineapple on our pizza. <laughs> what about you guys? So each kid has their own pizza base to cover in tomato paste. And then they put the pineapple on. Dave's cooking up the chicken on this occasion. And then we just pop it on. They add the cheese. And there's so many different variations you can do here. There's so many different pizza toppings you can do. But I find by not having to make the actual pizza base, it makes it a quite a quick meal. And, you know, there's a bit of mess. <laughs> but there's not the mess of having flour everywhere. I'm grading up the cheese here, but there's certainly different options at the supermarket with different cheese combinations if you want to give it a bit more flavour as well. This is a really popular dish in our house. The kids ask for it regularly and it is just delicious. The great thing about this meal is everyone finishes whatever is on their plate. They just love pizzas. Then I put it in the oven until the cheese is nicely melted and the base has gone hard. I probably start checking it at about the 10 minute mark and then I get it out when I'm happy with it. And then if we're having barbecue pizza at the table, we just put on a bit of barbecue sauce. What's your family's favorite pizza topping? My brother does a really nice one that has meatballs on the top. The next meal is carbonara with bacon and mushrooms. This is Dave's recipe. He tells me traditionally you don't have mushrooms in it, but this is how we like to do it. So first off, here you can see I'm just cracking two eggs and then I'm gonna give them a little whisk together. Then I'm gonna add in 50 grams of Parmesan cheese and that's important to just have 50 grams and that's why I'm measuring it. And then whisking that all together, I've got quite large shavings of Parmesan, so I'm just doing what I can with it. Next, I'm gonna chop up some bacon. I'm gonna be using about four to six of this shortcut bacon, and then I'm just gonna be cutting it into tiny pieces. The smaller we cut it, the further it goes in the dish, and you'll just get more bacon throughout your pieces. But if you prefer larger, chunkier pieces, then obviously you don't have to dice them like I am. Next, I've got these white cut mushrooms. And as you can see, I've bought the sliced ones so I don't have to slice them myself. And it's 500 grams. We've also done this with just 400 grams and slice it ourselves. Next, I'm gonna fry up the bacon. When that's nearly done, then I'm gonna add in the mushrooms. Mix that through until the mushrooms really start to soften. As you can see here, they've really changed color as they've sauteed. Then on the side here, I've been cooking the fettuccine. So I'm gonna add that in and then I'm gonna mix it throughout so that the mushrooms and the bacons are all throughout that fettuccine before I add in the egg and cheese mixture. Because the pan and the pasta is so hot, that Parmesan cheese is just going to melt. The best way to serve it is to crack some pepper on the top. It is just delicious. An inexpensive meal that is quick to make. Next, I had to share some barbecue 
ideas. So today Dave's going to be doing some steaks on the barbecue. We're going to have salad and some cheese with it. Of course we could do sausages in bread with cheese and sauce. That's four ingredients. Um, if you're into like prawns, you could do prawns on the barbecue, chicken wings on the barbecue. There's so many different options for the barbecue. So I had to include it. And you can always put a salad on the side or put some chips in the air fryer. We really like sweet potato chips, but there's also the standard chips as well that are delicious as a bit of a side. So there's just so many options for the barbecue. Um, hamburgers with rolls and salad and cheese. Of course, there's chicken burgers, grilled chicken burgers um, with a beautiful bun around the outside, chicken and salad in the inside. And of course, there's fish burgers as well. We mustn't forget the fish. So what is your four ingredient meal that you love to have on the barbecue? Share below, please. I love the community we've got here and the ideas you guys share. It is absolute gold in the comments, guys. Go down and read it. The last meal is Dave's favorite, lamb souvlakis. So you think about how much that costs to buy as a takeaway. This is so easy to do. It is four ingredients and it is absolutely delicious. And this is part of the Woolies cook range. As you can see, I've been exploring what they've got. And this is lamb strips souvlaki and it is fantastic. What I've noticed here, and you'll see that I cut it and put it in and I'm trying to spread it with the tongs, but it just kind of comes out in a big clump. And I've done this a few times now. And last time I said, do you know what? I should put gloves on my hands and just open it up and completely separate them all out, all those strips, so that it cooks really easily. Because here, otherwise, I'm trying to separate it and I just find that I'm continuing throughout turning it over and then there's two bits of meat together and then you go again. So, yeah, next time I'm using gloves. I'm cooking it on the stove, but you can definitely do it on the barbecue as well. That's what the packet says. And then I'm just going to rinse all the salad, all the main lettuce parts and the tomatoes. And then just to toast the souvlaki, I just do it in the sandwich press. It's really quick and easy to do and it gets a really nice crunch and you can make it as crunchy as you want. Then putting on the salad, the cucumber, the lettuce, putting it on top before putting the meat. The great thing about using this salad is it also has feta in it as well as some little olives and it does have um, a dressing as well, but I didn't end up using the dressing. I just added the olives and the feta, then add on the meat and then top with the garlic sauce. And honestly, I felt like I was having savlaki from a kebab shop. So if you only try one meal, I 100% recommend this one. We have this regularly on our rotation now. It is that good. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. I'm going to be doing more of these four ingredient meals i need it and you know as a family of four it is so expensive to even get takeaway you know to even get kfc or mcdonald's so i'm trying to do more at home thanks again bye